In this activity you will be designing, constructing and testing a container to insulate a cup of hot water. You will each be building your own container. Your task is to design a container that will minimize energy loss by the three mechanisms of heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation. Your design should include a small hole in the top to put a thermometer and temperature probe down through to the water. A description of the combined effect of losing thermal energy by conduction, convection and radiation was discovered by Isaac Newton. He found that that rate at which energy is lost from an object is proportional to the difference in temperature between the object and the surrounding air. This means that initially when the temperature difference is great, the rate of temperature drop is also great, and when the temperature difference is small the rate is slow. A graph of the difference in temperature between the object and the surroundings against time will be an exponential decay graph like radioactive decay. The flatter the graph, the longer the half-life, the better your insulation. When you have finished your construction, fill your thermos, insert the thermometer and seal it off. Measure the temperature of the water every minute. Measure the room temperature while your thermos is cooling down. The person with the most efficient thermos will win. Construct your thermos with the materials supplied. Make sure that your thermos is freestanding. That is, it won't roll over with water in it. Also, ensure the hot water can be easily poured in and the thermometer inserted and sealed. One thermometer was blown over and broke. The temperature reading for that thermos was restarted. Analyzing your data. You need to produce a graph of how the temperature difference between the hot water inside your thermos and the air outside your thermos varies with time. To get the temperature difference you need to subtract the recorded room temp from each thermos reading. Plot the data using Excel. Use Excel to construct your graph. The person with the most efficient thermos will win.